So I was asked whether helium has an octet because it's in group 18 here with the noble gases. If you know the trend for valence electrons, the number of electrons in that highest energy level, group one, these all have one, group two, they have two. We skip the transition metals, they're a little complicated. Group 13 has three, we have four, five, six, 17, these have seven, and then 18, these have eight, with the exception of helium. So helium doesn't form an octet, Tet, but it still fills its highest energy level. See the atomic number here. That tells us the number of protons. And for these elements on the periodic table, which are neutral, it tells us the number of electrons. So if you only have two electrons for the atom, you can't get an octet. But helium's a noble gas. It's inert. It doesn't react. So let's take a look at that a little bit deeper. So here's the periodic table divided up into what we call orbital blocks. The S block, D block, P block, and here's helium right here. So atomic number two, helium. So let's get rid of the overlay. Remember we have two electrons for helium. So we have 1s1 here, and then if we add another one, we have 1s2. So that's our electron configuration, 1s2. But if we add another electron, we go to a new energy level. This is the second energy level, first, second, third. So when we go to a new energy level, that's another shell. So helium, because it only has two of those electrons, this is its electron configuration, and that first energy level is full. Add any more, and you get into the 2s1, 2s2, and so on. So in answer to our question, helium has a full outer shell, or its highest energy level is full, but it doesn't really have an octet. Sometimes this is called a duet, which is kind of nice. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.